different types of music now. So they could just, you know, they could whatever they, whatever someone in the band is into, they could, you know, somehow or another, you know, fit it into into their music when they write it. Now, Danny, were you also a rap fan, or was it something that Scott kind of dragged you guys along? Uh, it's mainly Scott, but uh, I, I'm open to everything, you know. Scott and Charlie, really, you know. But uh, I'm open to all forms of music. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in this part. So anyways, do you feel that maybe you opened some doors? I mean, like Ice-T, for instance, has got his metal band Body Count, which is great. And yeah, you know, um, I don't know, you know, uh, it's uh, being in a group, you know, it's hard to look at it without, you know, being biased, I suppose. You know, I, I don't know if we opened any doors. I, I, if anything, I think, in a way, we might have even closed the door because the, the collaboration that we did with Public Enemy, I think we really set the standard kind of high, even for ourselves. You know, people keep asking, are we going to do it again? What are we going to do next? And all. Are you going to do it again? Well, see, that's the thing. We've set the standard so high now by doing Bring the Noise that even just for us to do it again, we certainly don't want to just repeat ourselves. You know, we'd have to be able to do something better than that that we thought was even better. And, uh, you know, right now we just have no idea what could that, that could be. So, you know, it's just, it's just something, you know, who knows if that, if what about not. about Public know. Enemy doing an Anthrax song, maybe? Yeah, there's a possibility. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for taking the time to talk to us. Anthrax actors as well as musicians. Good luck for the Grammys and the Married with Children that they are that they uh, have this part on will air tomorrow. So you'll probably want to check it out. And good luck on the Grammys again. Stick around as Headbangers Ball continues. Welcome back. This is a special Grammy edition of the Headbangers Ball, and right now we are joined with Lemmy from Motorhead, and now I can say the Grammy-nominated Motorhead. Do I get letters after my name for that? Something like that. I mean, what's it like? I mean, did you ever think Motorhead's been together for 15 years? 17. 17 years? Close. Did you ever think that Motorhead would be nominated for a Grammy. No. Because <laughs> I mean, I've been a Motorhead fan for a long time, and just Motorhead doesn't seem, this isn't an insult, but Motorhead doesn't seem like the type of band to be nominated for I a Grammy. I agree with you more. But now that there is a, a metal hard rock category, I guess you guys deserve to be nominated. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. How right you are, Rick. My word, you've got the gist of it there, okay. Now, do you plan on going to the Grammy Awards? Yes, I'm going on the 24th on my Delta Save Your Miles plan to New York, yeah. And uh, we'll see what we shall see. Now, I'm... I it's hilarious myself. I'm curious. I mean, one of the things... I hope that Motorhead wins because I just cannot imagine what an acceptance speech would be from you. I mean, could you give us any idea? Have you thought of any things, if you do win, the type of things that Lemmy would do on stage? Oh, I think it's all... Something that would get you into a lot of trouble, probably. Spontaneity is the key, I think, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have to, have to look around the crowd, too, you could pick on, you know? <laughs> I think you'll have a lot, too, a lot to choose from. Yeah, really, absolutely. Well, we're going we're gonna to be back talking to Lemmy, and we're even going to play the video, I'm So Bad, Baby, I Don't Care, from 1916, the Grammy Award winning, uh, Award nominated 1916, as the Headbangers Ball continues. Stick around. It's a special Grammy edition of the Headbangers Ball, coming to you from the Rainbow Bar and Grill in famous Hollywood, California, a place where the stars eat or drink. Like Lemmy. I don't have a meal here. Not, <laughs> this, uh, this is his meal right here. Right. Anyway, you band Motorhead, their album 1916 is nominated for the best metal performance, along with Anthrax, Soundgarden, Metallica, and... I get that. Exactly. Now, let's say that Motorhead wasn't nominated and the other bands were, who would you think would win the Grammy. Metallica. Really? Run away favorites. Really? Yeah. I also understand that Lars was once president of the Motorhead fan club. Yes, although small, he did sterling work for us. So. <laughs> and then does he still work for the Motorhead fan club? Well, not um, officially, no. He found a job that paid or something? What? What pay? Pay? <laughs> no pay. Well, he didn't want any pay, so he was young and feverish then, you know, with, like, uh, enthusiasm. Only now, He's learned, really, what life's all about, so he's not feverish anymore, boys and girls. Now, where were you when you found out that you were nominated for a Grammy? Where was I? Um, in my house, half-dressed, I was. 
Did we cast my fate to the winds. Was it pretty excited? I mean, were you yeah. shocked or? No. No, it just, is it just an, another one of those awards that Motorhead always gets, right? No, we never get them. I think it's hilarious myself, you know. Uh -huh. I mean, we don't sell records in this country. However, if we get if we get the Grammy, everybody, then we will sell records in this country, because you'll buy them, won't you? Because you'll say to yourself, my word, that guy has a Grammy. I'd better buy his album right now. But at least now you're nominated, so a lot of people might be interested in saying, who is this Motorhead and why are they nominated? Have you ever voted for an ex-presidential candidate? <laughs> an ex-presidential. You know I mean? It's like what they say. It's like the nomination is nice, but you can't put it on a shelf. Yeah, you can. A nomination? Yeah. Well, let's play a video from you the... my own. <laughs> let's play a video from the Grammy-nominated 1916. Why don't you intro it for us? I'm so bad, baby, I don't care. so bad from Motorhead from the Grammy nominated 1916 album. Like the way that sounds? Oh yeah. Now a few it's weeks far out man. Far out. The Grammy nominated. Too much man. Because of the vibes. <laughs> I can feel it. Now a few weeks ago we were with Ozzy Osbourne and I know that you collaborated with him for uh, one of the songs on the No More Tears album. Four. For four of the songs really. Four Which were the four songs? Desire, uh, Mama I'm Coming Home, I don't want to change the world, and um, no reason. You've written with quite a few people. I know you've worked with Lita before. Yeah, just the one time. Now, do you ever think about doing possibly a duet with somebody? No. Has anybody asked you? Well, you know, why not? I could do a duet with Joey Ramone, possibly. Yeah. That'd be a good one. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? I know you did play tribute to the Ramones on this last album. Yes, and why not? It's about time somebody did. Yeah, well, I've always liked the Ramones. So have I. Now, are you going to be on the road? I heard rumors, speaking of Ozzy, that you may be playing with Ozzy when he does this Randy Rhodes tribute. Is that true? I wasn't speaking of Ozzy. Oh, you were. I was speaking of Ozzy. Yeah, well, we're um, apparently going to do that Randy Rhodes tribute, yes, in Los Angeles here. So that'll be a good show. Sometime in March. And so with him in May or June. Yeah, will that be in America? Yeah. Oh, good. So for those of you people that haven't seen Motorhead before, you're definitely going to want to check out that show. We're going to be back talking to Lemmy from Motorhead in just a little bit, but right now it's time for us to play a video from a band that was nominated for a Grammy in 1989 but lost to Metallica. Well, this is Voivod. What? Exactly. That, this is Voivod with Clouds in My House. I mean, while we're playing it, not why they were nominated. <laughs> It's a special Grammy edition of the Headbangers Ball. We're here at the Rainbow Bar and Grill in Hollywood. I'm here with Lemmy from Motorhead. Now, you told me earlier that Motorhead had been together for 17 years. In March. In March, it'll be the 17th anniversary. Any big plans for that big 17th year anniversary? It's not exactly a nice round figure, is it? 20th, we did a 10th. We do a 20th, I guess. You did a 10th album, right? Called the Birthday Party? Uh, video. And an album. I think it came out as a cassette as well, yeah, that's right. Against our wishes. Uh -huh. Oh, I was one of those ones that bought the birthday party bootleg thing. I got past us. No, it's not a bootleg, it's an official one. But the old catalog was sold to another company who put it out. Now, when you started Motorhead, did you ever think that you, got, you were going to be doing it this long? Well, I thought I'd be doing it this long. I didn't know if it would be with Motorhead. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Well, what kind of stuff did you think you'd be doing? All this kind of stuff, but I didn't know if it'd be band. whatever. I mean, you don't think about things like that. Ever going to do like a Lemmy solo album, something yeah, different? Am. Oh, you are. I, so I just asked that, not even knowing. I, I know, just off the cuff there. Just off the cuff. It's fantastic. It's an, an amazing, an amazing how it works. Tell me the kind of stuff that you would do that would be different on a Lemmy album. No. So you're not going to let us. Know. No, I shan't. We'll fight and find out. What about acting? Acting, oh. I because I've seen you. I saw you in Eat the Rich. I saw you. Well, you did a little thing in the young one. Of rest and yeah, but we weren't really supposed to be acting in that movie. That was like real life stuff. Everyone was acting as me. <laughs> oh, exactly, and I don't know what I, I was, was acting with. <laughs> you were. Yeah, I played myself very well. You've never seen anybody play me better. But in Eat the Rich, you were an actor. From the game, Sean Penn to do the next one. <laughs> to play Lemmy in the next one. You're right. <laughs> Who would play Lemmy if they did the Motorhead story? I don't know, John Houston, but he's dead. I don't know. Really. That would probably put a damper on him. Playing. Exactly. <laughs> he's Clintwood. Well, good luck on the Grammys. Remember, the Grammys Robert are on. Stanwyck. <laughs> I could see she'd do a good Lemmy. Yeah. I could see her, especially seeing the head That's tilted up. That's a fake mustache, though. She couldn't grow one. <laughs> well, the Grammys are Tuesday. Again, 1916 is nominated for the best metal performance. And good luck on the Grammy. I mean, we're going to be watching it just because 
I'm just trying to imagine the Lemmy acceptance speech. I mean, I've talked to a lot of people, and everybody's saying, what would Lemmy say if he won a Grammy? So, and, uh, they are saying, But you are definitely going to be there, right? I will definitely be there. All the censors are going to be watching the Grammys with these buttons when you go up there, and they're just going to be going, I'm just waiting. It won't waiting. help them. <laughs> it won't help them. I shall do an innuendo. You'll be quick. Just open the door in innuendo, everybody. I shall do a sly one that they won't be able to censor. Okay, well, th thank you for taking the time to hang out with us as the Headbangers Ball continues a special Grammy edition. Stick around.